Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to The Hunter, uh, Silent Loss here. Today I decided to record something a little bit different. I uh, wanted to try out, I've been wanting to make a video on this game for a while now, but I haven't really quite figured out how to approach it. Um, however, I think I, I have a pretty good idea of how I want to do this, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. But today we are on Park de Fernando, which is in the desert. Um, we are going to be targeting a whitetail and hunting anything that kind of strolls in our pass in our path um, while we're doing it. So we are all set. We got our 6.5 create more and our a uh, 16 gauge shotgun for any pheasants, birds, or turkeys, maybe even small game if we see any. Uh, where we're heading is right here by this uh, drinking point. I have a tripod stand set up and a couple drinking points. So we have one here for whitetail at 08, we have another one here for whitetail at 08, and another one at 08. So we have three different points that we can see and hunt at. My main goal is to get enough money to where I can afford a rangefinder because I recently unlocked a perk right here that allows me to uh, have short range zero so that's pretty cool I want to use that to the best of our ability get some cleaner shots on some more long distance shots uh, so well, I'm gonna head out to the stand once I get there we'll cut back And we are in our stand. I'm um, not sure if you guys can see it, but I'm pretty sure I have another one just over here. If I check the map. Yeah, I have one. It's just behind those trees over there set up. Because the first time I played this map, I had a lot of deer traffic over there. Uh, we have a bobcat out in front of us. She's very alert. You could definitely try and take a shot on her. However, I don't really think I want to. I don't want to ruin the hunt for the white tail. So we'll go ahead, hit us with some scent killer. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that's one right over there. I was mistaken. That is definitely a rock. There you go, a few. A few big horned sheep, it looks like. Yep. Well, that was a pretty big one, actually. Then we got a little coyote over there. Just minding his own business. Oh, uh, let's check what time it is. 7.50. Like I said, we got that bobcat out in front of us. If I had the air rifle, because I believe I can kill a bobcat with the air rifle, I would definitely give that a try. Uh, we got another another pretty big one. He's a level four, level three. They're very calm and just traveling, so I think that's good. They aren't aware that we are here. So I think we'll go ahead and uh, 
give the antler rattlers a rattle here and see what we can't get in. I wish I was a high enough level to be able to buy the uh, white-tailed deer scent because that would work amazingly here. couple of them and then go ahead and get a few hits on the bleat. And we'll wait. Like I said, so one of the uh, points is over here, which is right there in front of us. And then the other one is just to our left here, and right there as well. So I will speed this up in the video when we're recording, so that way we can, uh, that way it's not a eight hour long video. And once we have our first deer and we'll come back. And would you look at that? We have our first white tail buck. Looks like he's coming over to take a drink. Just a little guy, from what it looks like. Try and keep an eye on him. Though we already lost him. Oop, there he is. See if we can't bring him in with the rattler. Here, there's another one. All right. I see at least three white tail. That is a doe. That is also a doe. So normally they travel on this map in packs of a doe and a buck each. So my question is, so where is your buck? Get the rattle on this guy. See if we can't get him to come in. He was. He bellowed from here, or bleated from right over in here. So I'm curious to see on where he's gonna come out at.
Come on, where are you at, buddy? Come on out. Um. Alright, so. I'm not entirely sure where he went. I think we'll hit the bleat. Alright, I see the doe. Right over there. There's a doe. Another one. Where's the buck? I'm assuming he's probably going to be in these thickets, being a smart deer. Hmm. I'm intrigued. I don't want to take a doe, because like I said, I know there's a buck in there. It's not the biggest buck I've taken. But he does seem like a pretty good buck. At least a silver. Uh, yeah, so I'll explain the rating system to you guys. For those of you who don't know or who have never played this game, the rating system rates from no rating all the way up to, I believe, diamond. I, I haven't shot anything bigger than a gold, but from what I've watched other people play, it rates up to diamond. And I think the biggest whitetail I've shot is a gold. Don't quote me on that. Uh, I haven't taxidermized any white tails yet, I don't think. I can't say that word. I struggle to say that word so throughout the entire video here. Ah, here we go. Got another white tail. There he is. Come on down, buddy. Is that the doe or is that the buck? That is the doe. Hey, where's your buck? Alright, so I know I have another doe coming in here on my left. I got those two does to my right there. Where is the buck at? Unless he already came down. There he is. Oh, he's a little bit bigger. We'll try and get him to come on over here. It doesn't look like he's interested. Maybe the bleed will bring him over. Where'd you go, buddy? There you are. He's a little bit far away. I could definitely take that shot, though, I think. Oh, hold up. There's another bigger buck over there. We'll zoom in. We'll take this shot. I don't like taking walking shots because they normally don't end well. And he's running. All right. Why are you running? You are a very big buck. That's for sure. Okay. I don't know how far this shot is, but I'm set for 150 meters zero. So I think I'll just have to aim a little bit high. We'll watch what he does though. Whoa, he did stop there. I think he might be coming over to drink from that area. Why is that other little buck? <clears throat> it's right there. Sorry about that. My throat has just been a little bit scratchy all day today. It's about 3 in the morning right now where I'm at. Okay. So if I'm correct in my thought process and his tracking, he's going to come right over to this drinking point which will be a little bit closer. So, I think we'll just get the binoculars out and we'll watch him like that. No, don't turn that way, buddy. Come on. 
Come on over to the drinking point. Yes, so he should be. If we wait patiently, coming right there, which will be a lot closer of a shot, a lot easier for us to manage. And that's a bigger buck right there. Okay, guys. I can't believe that I wasn't paying attention. He's big, big. wonder if I'll be able to get him to turn a little bit more. He is less than 75 meters. I think I'm just going to go 75 and aim a little high. Got him. I think I hit him pretty good. I think he's down already. Did I scare them all away? I think I scared the rest of them away. Yep, there they go. Is that another buck right there? That is another buck. There he is. Okay, he's pretty small. We'll reload. But if he comes in close too for us to take him, we'll go ahead and we'll take him too. That buck is just dead right behind those trees. We hit him really, really good, guys. Really good. Uh, where, did he, where is he going? There you are. Come on, buddy. There he is. Yeah, he's just a little one. Nothing compared to the buck that we just shot over there. You're a doe, right? Yes. She's nervous. I think they're all going to be nervous. Just because I just shot over here. There you are. We won't zoom in. If he comes up, if he comes as close as I think he will. He's calm, so he has no clue what's going on. If he comes out, there you go. Come on, stop, take a drink. I don't want to take a, a head-on shot. All right, he's drinking, so I don't think we'll get anything better. But, thanks for our little buddy here. Got him. We hit him good too. All right. We'll go ahead, let him bed down. Uh, we shot him right there, it looks like. Uh, he should be dead. I haven't seen him come out. I don't think he he can technically go out of there, but I don't think he's going to. I don't think he's going to make it. All right, let's go ahead and check out our first buck over here. The one that we for sure know is down. So, I know we took him. Yep, there we go. We got really good vital blood. Beautiful. Like I said, guys, he didn't even get to go bleed again. He ran all of 20 yards. Let's just look at this rack. Just a monster deer. Let's get the camera out. Just beautiful. Just an absolutely beautiful buck. Look at how 
tall his tines are. So he is gold, 212. Let's go ahead and... So to get a diamond, he would have to be a 255. So he's close. He's very close. We end up getting him with one lung, which isn't bad. Awesome. All right. So his trophy organs were intact, which I believe is his head. True score, he's a 14-point white-tailed deer. That's huge, guys. I think we will definitely go ahead and save him to the trophy manager. We'll get rid of... Well, we'll get rid of this guy, because he's not even close to being as good. Just a big deer. All right, so... Now we have a little bit of a trick on us. Uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward this as I hold up. Right as I was talking, we got another little buck right here. We'll go ahead and get into prone. We might be able to take him too. All right. I don't think I hit him very good, though he might have. He's running like he's hit good. Look at that, guys. Another beautiful buck down. Whew, that gave me goosebumps. I can't believe that we almost just let him go. We almost just took off running that way. I didn't even check. And there's more. All those looks to be that way. Should I take a long shot on a doe? Can I? We'll have to change our zero to one fifty. But she's about fifty five. She's about fifty five. I could take her. But I won't. Uh, we'll go ahead. We'll get our big buck over here. I mean, I guess he, he's not super big. But he he's a decent sized deer. He, he's probably right around a 10 pointer. He could be an 8. But I think I've seen a few more tines on him. And he should be. Yep. There he is laying down right there. If those does don't move. I might take one just because. I'll be perfectly broadside on them. Like I said, guys, this spot is just killer for white-tailed deer. Absolutely killer. And from the way it looks, we're going to take that one. Or, no, I meant this one. She'll be more broadside after we get up on our buck here. Yep, we had a really good, really good hit on him, too. I think we shot through his... We probably shot right through his shoulder blade. Is what I'm thinking. Okay, they alerted a little bit. Yep. We'll get down the prone. As long as she doesn't run. There goes a pheasant. All right, I couldn't resist. We had to take her. All right, so here's the buck. Yep, it looks like we just missed his shoulder blade and just clipped his lung. Had I been using the polymer tip, we probably could have got the heart and the other lung too, just because it has more penetration, but just a silver 12-pointer. Nice. Not a, little, not a bad little buck. We'll go ahead and we'll take this doe quick. I think this just put this at a level 3 hunting pressure area. She's still just standing there. She definitely is. I don't need to take her. No, nope, we'll let her go. I should though. It increases the spawn chance of bucks. <clears throat> but that's alright. Alright, so 
we need to get her, and then we seriously need to go and get ready to start tracking that other buck. Because I don't think we got a good hit. Uh, it looked like we hit him good from the way he, he took off. I just don't know for sure because I couldn't see what the blood was. But yeah, we got a really good shot on her. Left lung, liver, and the stomach. That's awesome. That's a really good shot. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go get our buck. So, I'm not quite sure where we hit him at. It was here, I believe. There's another white tail over there. If it's a buck, we'll shoot. If not, we'll let it go. I'm seriously curious. Was it over here? It was definitely over here in this area. I know that much for sure. Maybe right here? Ah, here we go, yep. And like I figured, it was not a good hit. He ran like it was though. So I'm thinking we probably hit him in the shoulder blade. Which it looks to me like that's him right there. His horns are a little bit glitched out, but that's still our deer. All right, so we'll come check him out. It looks like he's uh, he's a decent little buck, a little ten pointer. Listen, I know you're over there. Okay. Unless you have a buck with you, I don't care. Which I'm not thinking you do. Definitely does not look like it. I don't see him anyways. If he is over there. Alright, we'll go ahead and claim him. Yeah, so like I thought, we did not get a good hit. Uh, no vital organs either, so he wasn't a super good buck. He was an 8-pointer though, um, which I'm not sure how. He should technically be a 10, unless those little uh, stickers don't count. But yeah, alright, he was almost a bronze, I think. Uh, so I didn't hit a vital organ, or he was almost a silver. Yep, so if I had hit a vital organ, he would have been a silver. Close. Alright. We'll go ahead, we'll take him. I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Um, maybe not. Maybe not. There might be a buck. Another buck coming through. Just another doe. No, and I don't think I'm seeing a buck anywhere. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and finish off this episode here, and uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want, uh, like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you uh, if you want to. I respond to all comments. Also, if you guys are interested in my Discord, there will be a link to uh, there will be a link to my Discord where you guys can get daily notifications about. My video is being uploaded or when I go live on stream. On stream, I'm probably going to be doing a lot more of uh, The Hunter. Just because it's a little bit easier to stream. Uh, I do play Farming Simulator 2022 though. So make sure you guys check out the description if you're interested in that. And yeah, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.